Up already, I see? Um, I want you to know how glad I am to have someone here. There are so many old books I want to share. I want to show you my favorite bug hunting spot. I've also prepared a curriculum for your education. This may come as a surprise to you, but I've always wanted to be a teacher. Actually, perhaps that isn't very surprising. Still, I am glad to have you living here. Oh, did you want something? Well, talk to me again if you want need anything. The fire isn't burning hot, just pleasantly warm. You can put your hand inside. It's a history book. Here's a random page. Trapped behind the barrier of and fearful of further human attacks, we retreated. Far, far into the earth we walked until we reached the cavern's end. This was our new home, which we named Home. As great as our king is, he is pretty lousy at names. The ends of the tools have been filed down to make them safer. Um, can I say anything about the table? Nope. Oh, hello. Did you want to hear about the book I'm reading? It is called 72 Uses for Snails. How about it? Here's an exciting snail fact. Yeah, I like to hear her stories. Did you know that snails have a chainsaw-like tongue called the radula? Interesting. Well, bother me if you need anything else. I have to do something. Stay here. Why is your mouth going so fast? What's over here? Inside is an old calendar from the beginning of 21X. I have no idea how to say that in a better way. These books are worn. They may, they must have been read many times. Down the stairs we go. Spooky. You wish to know how to return home, do you not? Ahead of us lies the end of the ruins. A one-way exit to the rest of the underground. I am going to destroy it. No one will ever be able to leave again. Now be a good child and go upstairs. Every human that falls down here meets the same fate. I have seen it again and again. They come. They leave. They die. You naive child. If you leave the ruins... They, Asgore, will kill you. I am only protecting you. Do you understand? Go to your room. I forgot if anything actually happens if I go to my room. Well, time to see what we can find out. Let's see if I can go to bed again. Let's go to bed again. I wonder if this does anything. Or not. Alrighty, right, righty. Let's go fight Toriel. Not try to stop me. This is your final warning. You want to leave so badly? Hmph. You are just like the others. There's only one solution to this. Prove yourself. Prove to me you are strong enough to survive. Toriel blocks the way. Well, for sake of knowing, I will have to fight. Toriel is acting aloof. Even though I want to do mercy. What 
what happens if I do this? Toriel prepares a magical attack. Toriel looks through you. Let's act. You couldn't think of any conversation topics. Oh, come on! Toriel takes a deep breath. Oh, man. I guess I can't do the thing. Yep. Toriel takes a deep breath. Hmm. I just don't want to do sparing. But for sake of learning what's going on, I must fight. Well, because the frog gave me advice. Uh, dang. That's the way the song is called Heartache, because you have to decide fight or not. Toriel is acting aloof. Tori looks through you. Apparently I never got that crit that everyone else did. Tori prepares a magical attack. Tori looks through you. What are you doing? Attack or run away? What are you proving this way? Fight me or leave. Stop it! Wow, I dodge everything. Stop looking at me that way. Go away! I know you want to go home, but... But please, go upstairs now. I promise I'll take good care of you here. I know we do not have much, but... We can have a good life here. Why are you making this so difficult? Please, go upstairs. Aww. Haha. <laughs> Pathetic, is it not? I cannot even save, save even a single child. Hmm. 
No, I understand. You would just be unhappy trapped down here. The ruins are very small once you get used to them. It would not be right for you to grow up in a place like this. My expectations, my loneliness, my fear. For you, my child, I will put them aside. The song has slowed down. If you truly wish to leave the ruins, I will not stop you. However, when you leave, please do not come back. I hope you understand. Sad goat mom. Goodbye, my child. So sad. I wonder what happens if I go back. Or is there something that bars me from going up? Hmm. Where'd she go? Okay, apparently she disappears. Every time this old tree grows any leaves, they fall right off. Thanks for the hint there, Serenity. I want to see what she says. Let's see what Goat Mama has to say. Uh, no, this isn't a blind. I have played the game before. It's a regular play. It's kind of an exploration play, really. Let's talk dinner. I won! Yeah! Let's kinda get healed. It's blind in the way that I haven't played Genocide Run because I haven't started that other than the beginning. He tripped into a line of mold smalls. Yeah. Sexy little slime sounds. Scorch. Ah, dang it. Mold small waits pensively. I'm things easier when you just ask. I plan to do genocide. Okay. Draw it up close, let's give him a compliment. He does understand, but hey, he is a pretty good looking frog. I'm still not sure if those are eyes on his body. Yeah. 
I hate getting stuck. I just passed by you, dude. Why do you have to fight me? What is this, Pokemon? Yeah, it missed me with the frog. Let's do the sparing. Excuse me. So far back. Doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop a doop. Hmm. So regardless, I could just walk through that area and not worry about the spikes. <laughs> 